Hey guys, it's Lo from the Shaw Sisters, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I'm in my room, and I'm not recording outside like usual. I am um, in my room. So today I'm going to be unboxing. I'm not really unboxing as I already opened it, but I'm just going to be looking at that stuff. So um, basically what this is, is the flute material. So I'm so excited because I did not know I was going to get this. My mom had ordered it, and then, like I just saw it today, and I was like, whoa. So there's my flute practice book. And this is my real flute. It's pretty old. No, it's not that old. It's only two years old now. If I finish playing this year, it's going to be two years old. And there's a dent because I dropped it and stuff. It looks kind of old. <laughs> so basically, this is going to be my unboxing video. yippee doo doo thank you. So, um... I brought this because I was going to practice right after I film, filmed. And so the song that we're playing, um, so, to, um, so my friends, well, not my friends, really. So, so I have a hangouts chat with these people that went on a ski resort together. Um, I wasn't part of them, but, um, somebody just added me in. Oh, that's a balloon that Jaime has. Um, and so it turns out they were doing a cover and I decided I wanted to play the flute and I asked them and they said yes. So it's called youth by troy sivian or something Sivan, i don't know so it's a pretty good song it's catchy it's nice and it's kind of hard so this kind of looks easy what if what if we can run away what if what if we left today what if we took by safe and sound what if what if we're hard to find what if what if we lost our mind that's just a little verse of that one um and I'm sorry my voice isn't that good. So this is the part where it's hard. It's a rapping part, I don't know. Anyway, okay, I'm getting distracted. So this is my flute practice book. This is where my teacher assigns me homework. And I don't think you can tell the pencil, but there is that stuff. And I need to start practicing this again. And then at the back, I'm starting to make my own covers a little because I was bored. So I started on Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers, but then I eventually gave up because it was too hard. I'm going to restart it, but as of right now, I'm doing See You Again because it's a really good song for quarantine. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I wrote all of this note. I might play it for you guys as a bonus if you guys make it through the video. And now, without further ado, let us get on with this video. So, guys, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my thingy. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is at all. I don't know. But as of right now, I think it's um something. It's like a flute book. Because it has this notes. If you guys don't know, these are the treble and bass claps. Treble. Base. Flute only plays on the treble clef, I'm thinking. Let me check. Yeah, flute only plays on the treble clef. I think. I'm not sure. Um, so that's flute, but in piano you can play both. And but really what those are, are just... I'm just going to show you guys the blank page. So, they, and usually on the piano it has a line. And then it has the treble and the bass or something. And this one is for your left hand or right hand. I don't know. I'm not a pianist. So do not listen to me when I'm... Don't... Um, like, this is not real. I'm just giving you guys an example. So um, if you guys are thinking of actually doing that, don't and actually seek professional advice because I don't know anything. <laughs> so... Oh, this one's nice. This is for, for one thing. I love this font so much. So, it, it says, Kahaya, without music, life is a mistake. Good thing my life isn't a mistake, because I have music in my life. So, I'm guessing that this is like a bag for my flute stand. And that thing. I'm going to start taking this to my um, flute practices. And that doesn't just mean unboxing. This does. Okay, so this is the flute stand head thingy. So I'm going to try and pull off the plastic cover with my nails. Okay, got it. 
I'm gonna take really good care of this because I love. I want if I wanted a new one because mine is already broken. I don't know how it was broken, but it was. I had only had it for like a couple months and it broke. So I'm sad, but I'm getting my third music stand up for a year. It says Kaheya, so I'm guessing the brand is Kaheya. It has the two sticky stingies and then has these. So I think they're for the back. Yeah, it keeps this part screwed on. And this part, I think it connects to that metal stem thing. So I'm gonna give all this plastic stuff to Heidi because I think she likes this stuff. Don't know. So here we are with my final part. Um, this looks. Oh wait, it didn't come like this. It came like this. Came with this apart, and this was in there. So I'm not sure how to assemble it because I didn't get any instruction. I'm just gonna assume, even though that's the way I broke my last one. Wait, can you pull it? Oh wait. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and see if I can try and assemble it. Okay guys, so I got the basic rundown of how this works. Um, so these things are screws and they open and close and they tighten and I knew that already, of course. But I was experimenting and you guys are gonna look into that deep dark hole. Haha. -ha. And um, so I'm gonna do this later because I really don't wanna break this. It's expensive, it's new, and I love it. Just gonna lay it down gently. And this one. Also, you guys are going to look into another deep dark hole without any opening. So, this one kind of looks like an axe. I'm scared a little. Um, I think this is part, this part, oh yeah, yes, I know it. So, this part kind of looks like the connection to the head. Right here. So, I'm guessing that these two slide together and this either moves this guy or tightens it i'm not gonna guess i'm gonna be sure i know because i really this is how i broke it really i like was just fooling around with the buttons and then i unraveled it too much i unscrewed the screw <laughs> i thought like a baby i unscrewed the screw um and then it um it rolled out and i was like oh shoot so i tried putting it back in but it just kept rolling out and eventually, I just locked it in there, like, with tape and stuff. It's still like that. My old stand is still like that. My first stand was that. That was how I broke my first stand as well. So, um, hopefully I don't go that way. And here's my flute. I might actually play see you again for you guys, because I feel like it. So, I'm going to just lay it down on the ground, and it's going to be darkness, except for the flute, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay. So I got a clip to my See You Again page. And if this is going to be really short, it's not going to be quick. So this is what it looks like. It's been a long day without you, my friend. But I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. That's what it's going to sound like. Um, that's the flute. Um, that's the verse that I'm doing with my flute. My beautiful flute, which has been through so much. Everyone, moment of silence for my flute. Amen. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I said amen. So, my poor flute uh, is so good, though. It's, like, so good. It's, like, so good. It's a Yamaha 22, 222, which I love that number. It's a yell. I don't know what that means. Maybe it means that it turns yell. It's out of focus. I'm going to try and focus it so you can see the real thing. So. Yamaha. Okay. Now, enough stalling. And let me get to playing. I might make a few mistakes because it's only been a couple of days since I actually even thought of doing to you again. So, no hate, please. Thank you. I'm gonna warm up and do my scales. And this is what the scales will need to sound like. I don't know about you guys, but this is my instrument seal. Hey guys, I 
I'm really bad at this. So I'm gonna practice and I will see you when I'm done practicing. And I'm done practicing and this is my flute. I wrote the um, words because I just wanted to see what like, because I play the song on YouTube as I'm playing the flute. So I just write the words to see where I am. Like it, I don't have to like go all the way back and then go back. I can just look at the words because why not? And I'm not doing the rapping part, obviously. If you guys didn't know, there was a rapping part. And see you again. So you go again. And there was a rapping part, but I'm obviously not doing the rapping part because I don't think you can do raps on the flutes. And this is like second try, hopefully third time's the charm, um, hopefully second time's the charm, but if not, third time is always the charm. That is the first few, no, first verse. Maybe a little less, I don't know. But I'm guessing it's the first verse, and it's really nice. I love this song so much, because it reminds me of my old friends and stuff. I'm thinking of posting the full song on my YouTube, so if you guys st want to see that, give this video a huge thumbs up, 30 likes, and I will try and finish. See you again. Th that's the end of today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Without further ado, I'll see y'all next time. Bye. The flute say bye to. Flute says bye. Book says bye.